Swami, there is one thing that um, I feel the world is um, crying about now. Uh, that my religion is great. Like what you just said, you know, people people are unable to understand that uh, everything can coexist. And the concept of religious tolerance has uh, come down so much that we see too many, too many deaths and too many miseries in the name of religion. As an ambassador of Sanadhana Dharma, what is your take on this sign? See, what we are seeing in the present day world is so much atrocities in the name of religion. Right. Shootings, bombings. And uh, whenever we travel, wherever we travel, in uh, airports, in railway stations, the announcement board we are seeing mm -hmm. is uh, whenever you see a box Suspicious, or a uh, bag, bags. unattended, hmm. You report. It means there is no faith. Mm -hmm. What will happen the next moment? Mm -hmm. You do not know. It is because of religion. So, our Sanadana Dharma, the message of Sanadana Dharma is mm -hmm. not even religious tolerance. Mm -hmm. It is the message of Sanadana Dharma is mm -hmm. much above mm -hmm. the message of tolerance. Mm -hmm. It gives the message of universal acceptance. Right. Bharatam has always proved our yeah. universal yeah. acceptance. Yes. It is universal acceptance, mm -hmm. not tolerance. Mm -hmm. Because the entity mm -hmm. which is making you mm -hmm. is the same entity, entity that which is making me. Right. Ishwara Sarvabhutana. Mm -hmm. Rudde Shri Arjuna Tishthati. Mm -hmm. The one and the same existence is there mm -hmm. within everybody. All these are manifestations. Mm -hmm. So, based on that Vedantic principle, mm -hmm. what we are propagating and proposing is mm -hmm. not the message of tolerance, mm -hmm. but the message of universal acceptance. Mm -hmm. That message we have to spread. Mm -hmm. See, universe, uh, tolerance is a good quality. quality. It, is, it, is, a it quality, is a quality, it is a good message, everything. Right. But at the same time, why it do is you not tolerate? Why, why can't yeah. you accept? <laughs> because when we tolerate, hmm. you are uh, you are uh, taking the other part as something mean and low. Yeah. And you are you are accommodating. You accommodate. The feeling of yeah. accommodation is there. Yes. Just like if, see, if I am a, I am considering myself as a a pure vegetarian or a right. strict vegetarian mm -hmm. because uh, the term pure may be <laughs> opposing somebody else. So I am considering myself as a strict, strict vegetarian, vegetarian and I go to a, a restaurant mm. and in front of me if uh, a man comes with his, his uh, food platter which is and uh, mm. there are uh, so many pieces of snakes mm. and uh, in some baskets he is uh, picking some living cockroaches mm. and uh, scorpions <laughs> And he is eating. Right. Uh, what feeling I will have with him? Mm -hmm. I will tolerate. Right. Yeah. I will tolerate. I cannot ask him to get out or go away. Right. Because it is a restaurant, public place. Mm -hmm. So I will tolerate. That is what about tolerance. tolerance. Mm -hmm. What we want is not tolerance. Mm -hmm. We must accept the world as a whole. Mm -hmm. See, this aspect of uh, uh, religious uh, acceptance. Mm -hmm. Vedas and Vedanta's teachers. How they are teaching, we cannot, we cannot, we cannot describe in small words. Mm -hmm. So the the whole of Vedanta mm -hmm. is teaching the oneness of all beings. Mm -hmm. So if that oneness of all beings, mm -hmm. I am not speaking about the duality and non-duality principles. Mm -hmm. All beings. Mm -hmm. If we can realize, easily we can accept the world as it is, then there is no scope, no place for religious conversion. Right. What religious conversion is, my religion is great, mm -hmm. yours, is, yours is not that much good. Mm -hmm. So come to me. Mm -hmm. Right. You can, you can get uh, uh, heaven or you can reach God only if you can come to me. Mm -hmm. That is, mine is uh, superior mm -hmm. whereas yours inferior. Mm -hmm. That feeling you must discard. Hmm. 
all these religions are man made right there is no christian ishwara there is no hindu ishwara no there is no muslim ishwara ishwara mm-hmm. is one and the same right then why you are going for conversion yeah. stop converting hmm. teach the uh, principles of dharma which yeah. will accept everybody which will assimilate everybody hmm. that universal acceptance that hmm. principle we have to spread that is the message of sanadana dharma so we are of course we we like the the quality or uh, uh, the uh, idea of mm-hmm. tolerance but it is not the highest idea mm-hmm. the highest thing is dharma to that uphold that 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 of accepting acceptance universal mm-hmm. acceptance right yes when you talk about dharma uh, there is another part that comes uh, karma and uh, we uh, as uh, practitioners of sanadana dharma believe a lot in karma and karma phala yes um, i think uh, including the uh, I, i don't want to use the word western society anymore because you said that's not appropriate but uh, yes uh, the world has also accepted the word karma and you know it's even featured in the uh, english dictionary as yeah. uh, as a uh, recognized word so is the word guru uh, uh, we all know that there is a lot that sanadana dharma has contributed uh, to uh, the world what do you see as the greatest contribution of uh, sanadana dharma so see if you go to vedic shastras mm mm-hmm. itihasas puranas dharma shastras mm mm-hmm. vedangas and upavedas mm mm-hmm. the amount of contribution mm-hmm. sanadana dharma has given to the world you cannot uh, uh, describe in a year or uh, sitting 10 years but the the greatest aspect is one mm-hmm. the holistic approach mm-hmm. or the harmonious outlook mm-hmm. it gave to the world one mm-hmm. two the concept of dharma right what is dharma dharma is that which is uniting everything together mm-hmm. which is holding everything together mm-hmm. right from a minutest atom Mm-hmm. to the grossest universe mm-hmm. everything is held together by by dharma hmm dharyate anena, anena sarvam dharma. iti dharma hmm. dharma is that which is held holding everything together hmm. so that concept of dharma hmm. that is the greatest contribution of sanadana dharma hmm. to the world hmm. and along with that hmm. the harmonious hmm. or holistic outlook hmm. this are the greatest contributions in my opinion mm-hmm. of course uh, contributions in the field of uh, mathematics in the field of medical science mm-hmm. in the field of metallurgy mm-hmm. in the field of astronomy and astrology mm-hmm. so many so many other mm-hmm. economics statistics about, uh, commerce mm-hmm. so many mm-hmm. but above all mm-hmm. these two aspects mm-hmm. i like more beautiful uh, swami talking about astrology you know there is a lot of science and maths involved in astrology however sometimes people blindly go in for astrology there are there are various people who follow their dharma and practice it uh, the way it should be there are a lot of people who uh, use it as a scam as well sometimes people are un- unable to identify which is scam and which is not a scam and uh, that i think has tarnished uh, you know the whole idea of astrology and uh, Uh, people are looking at it in, in a bad way what is your thought about it and sometimes is it very essential that we have to go into astrology uh, so deep that you know when people two people get married they have to look into their horoscope and uh, if i have to decide what my tomorrow is do, does my horoscope decide it for me or is it my karma which decides it for me see astrology hmm. to use sanskrit word jyotisha hmm. is a science hmm. there's no doubt in that right. it's a science as a part of vedanga hmm. the development of this science hmm. but practicing astrologers hmm there may be pseudo right hmm. but it is not the case of astrology alone in the medical field right in the engineering field in the political field hmm. almost all fields of social life there are pseudo people there hmm. are sham people hmm 
same is the case with astrology so it is a science right then comes the question do we need it or uh, uh, should we go for astrological uh, test before uh, marriage and all mm -hmm. it depends on your mind, mental structure yes. uh, should we go for a medical scanning right ultrasound scanning or MRI scanning no mm -hmm. when you are sick mm -hmm. and the doctor cannot diagnose with uh, <laughs> physical observations you go for scanning yeah in the same way, when you cannot uh, uh, relate the happenings which are occurring in your life, mm -hmm. you go for Jodhisha Patiksha. The diagnosis. <laughs> yeah. It's up to you yeah. to go or not. Mm -hmm. However, I am not an expert in Jodhisha. Right. I am zeroing yeah. the knowledge of Jodhisha. <laughs> so I am not criticizing, I am not uh, uh, spreading. Stop. Okay. <laughs> But uh, I, I like the thought, you know, when you said if you, if you're not sure, maybe you can go in for it. Like, yeah, maybe maybe why they go. But in when you go, yeah. you must go to a genuine genuine astrologer, which is hard to find because we don't know who's who in here right now. That's true. Yeah, that's uh, that's interesting, Swami. Uh, talking about um, uh, pseudo people and you know people coming up, we have a lot of. Uh, we, we don't really have God man in our our customs or in our tradition however we do see the emergence of a lot of people who are very close to god and uh, maybe they do not call themselves god but people often give them the status of god and often have namavalis and uh, prayers dedicated to a person what is your thought on this there is nobody very close to god or remote from god right all are manifestations of god right so if a man or a woman realize I am God, he is God, she is yeah. God, there is no doubt in that. Mm -hmm. And if I am going and saying to the world, I am God, mm -hmm. no, mm -hmm. they won't go and say. If people are considering somebody as uh, divine, let them consider. Mm -hmm. It's, it's them up consider. to them. Yeah. What our, our thinking is, Mm -hmm. All these manifestations are manifestations of one and the same God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are God, myself right. I am God, right. and everybody. Yeah. All, all manifestations of one yes. divine divinity. Yeah. So realizing that if somebody declares... I think that is that again is, where acceptance comes. You know, if someone uh, wants to pray to somebody like that, let, let it let be. Him. Yeah. <laughs> or if he is not ready, let him not. Yeah. You have the freedom. Yeah, there is. Mm. And you must understand there is no intermediary mm -hmm. in between you and God. Right. right. There is no intermediary. So I am not asking favors uh, no. to this person. No. <laughs> no. Yes. Mm. <laughs>
our children they are studying when we are in the womb of our mother mm-hmm. that's when that I is the stage when we are studying because we are we are not studying but we are making the substratum mm-hmm. for studies mm-hmm. and from the age mm-hmm. that is right from birth mm-hmm. up to the age of 5 or 6 mm-hmm. we are collecting all sorts of data from the world mm-hmm. based on that data we are studying in our later age right so most important period of one's uh, development mm-hmm. or uh, unfoldment mm-hmm. is the age up to 5 right at that age we must be with our mother because mother is the first guru mm-hmm. and the first god everything is mother so up to that age a child must be with his or her mother mother that's beautiful that's beautiful um uh, before we went uh, one more question swami what what do you think has been the most disturbing um, uh, problems that youth of these days face as someone who's traveled world around you know you, yeah, you would have a consolidated uh, answer as to one big problem youth uh, they are uh, they are not getting mm-hmm. what they should get from their parents mm-hmm. our children they are highly talented mm-hmm. we can we can say they are they are of best quality within mm-hmm. high efficiency mm-hmm. high talent everything they have but they are not getting Hmm. what they should get from their parents that is the ethical values they are getting technical education of course it is required hmm. it is a must but at the same time moral education that they must have mm-hmm. so lack of moral education mm-hmm. ethical education that is the problem and wherever we travel what we are seeing is the technical ability is growing mm-hmm. and linguistic ability is going down mm. that i am observing mm-hmm. that is not the case of sanskrit or malayalam or tamil mm-hmm. but even in the case of english right i am seeing mm-hmm. linguistic ability is going down right that is my observation yeah so whichever be the language along with the language mm-hmm. culture will come right moral values will come right ethical values will come be it english or be it sanskrit be it mm-hmm. malayalam whatever language it be mm-hmm. along with the language mm. moral and ethical values will come right now uh, focus is more on uh, technical aspects of course technology must be there yeah we are sitting and speaking here <laughs> only because of technological right advancement and the so technology technolo- yeah, yeah. that yes yes mm-hmm. that is that is essential but along with that mm-hmm. at par mm-hmm. there must be the linguistic aspects right when the balance is there the society will be more better than what it is now right Thank you so much. Um, I think that that view is something that I haven't heard before and uh, it must be a point that most parents would love to ponder upon. Uh thank you so much uh, Swami for Namaste. your time with Namaste. us. Namaste. It's been great uh honor to have you here. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.